So we've got a 3 gigabyte 1060 with less cores, a 6 gigabyte 1060 with 8 gigabits per second GDDR5, and a 6 gigabyte 1060 with 9 gigabits per second GDDR5. You'd think that would be enough with the 1060s, but no, you were wrong. Dead wrong. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. While I'm stuck on my GTX 660, Nvidia has released something like 500 newer mid-range cards. Okay, maybe a slight exaggeration, but not really. Well, guess what? You thought Pascal was done with the release of Nvidia's Volta Titan? Nope. At least, not if the report done by X Preview and found by video cards is accurate. According to them, Nvidia will soon be releasing the GeForce GTX 1060 5 gigabyte model. That's right. It's not 3, but it's not 6 either, and it's not perfectly in between the two. That's okay though. One cool fact is that unlike the 3 gigabyte variant, the 5 gigabyte one is rumored to have all 1280 CUDA cores. So all the raw power of the 1060 is here, but that's not to say they didn't change anything besides its included video RAM. No, they did something a little odd. They actually shortened the memory bus to 160-bit from the 192-bit bus of the full 6GB variant. I'm not really sure how much slightly slower RAM will affect its performance, but hopefully we can get a hold of benchmarks before long. Now, here's another weird part. Supposedly, this 5GB variant will only be sold in the Chinese market, but not just to any market in China. It's aimed at internet cafes? Apparently, they're getting a good bit bigger in China. I'm not really sure. Don't worry, though. It gets even weirder. Video cards has apparently come across a gigabyte WinForce card that's to be this supposed Chinese-only market card. See, going straight to custom board partners makes me think this is a little bit more than a very tiny market, unless NVIDIA won't even be releasing reference cards for it. I really don't know. This will definitely have to be one of those to-be-continued stories. That is until the 4 gigabyte variant. No, I'm I'm joking. Don't that that's not true. Hopefully it's not going to be true. Anyway, speaking of RAM, Micron has announced that they've completed the design and qualifications of their upcoming GDDR6 video memory. Earlier this year, I reported on their post that stated the company was on track to completion and they've officially done it. Mass production starts in early 2018 with initial speeds of 12 and 14 gigabits per second with later expectations to hit the 16 gigabit per second mark. Micron also confirmed the upcoming production of their 8 gigabyte GDDR5 on their most advanced node. I'd expect to see GDDR6 and high-end graphics cards with GDDR5 continuing to be in their mid to low-end units in 2018. So while that does it for today, what do you think of NVIDIA's decision to make yet another 1060? Do you hope it makes its way to US markets? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video and want to keep up on all things hardware, make sure to subscribe. That does it for now. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.